Yo, what's up guys? I just finished top four at another regional. I literally won yesterday on zero sleep, flew to Vegas, I finished top four. I have no idea what my record is. I'm X1 and there's four other X1s and no XOs. I might even win the whole thing, who knows? But zero sleep, we did it. And this time we played 40 card vanadium, the same simple spoils package for the Magician Souls, but I cut down a bunch of the fat and made it 40 cards. I think this version is a little bit better. It's really cool as well, so we'll get straight into it. Before we do, I saw the comments in the last video. You guys love this, this playmat. So, for this day only, I'm gonna release this playmat back on the website. You get it right now, TriffGaming.com. Special Triff Gaming and Electro Mike playmat. I'm slightly narcissistic. I know. Anyways, also big shout out to Team Inspired TCG and Dueling Guard. Check out their products in the description. Let's get started. 42 Carbonadium, and it's insane. Simple spoils, everything, Magician Souls. We'll get straight into it. So, you need to play nine of these. You know, max out. These are, this is the whole engine of the deck, maybe post side, because the deck is so small now, you might want to remove one or two, maybe. But you need to main these nine, it's not a question. Like these, it's not a question. Guys, this, all these 18, you just need to play. That's it. Okay, don't ask me questions. If you want to ask me a question about this, ask me why I won 21 straight matches this format with this deck. Who do you think knows more about the deck? Please play the 18. It is mandatory without question. Now, this is where the actual good deck building comes in. So to play around Droll and to really in, uh, make the list as, as con uh, consistent as humanly possible, I'm playing one Souls, one Illusion, one Diabell Star. The reason behind this now is because you are still playing the uh, three Wanteds. I might want to upgrade Souls to one because Souls equals Black Witch because Souls sends Black Witch and then through Cross Sheep or, or Dark, or you get Selene to bring this and then get the value back. So you have seven different ways to get the Jet Sync run. And Jet Synchro is so big in this deck because it sets up a Savage Dragon. You guys, sorry for my voice. I'm on zero sleep whatsoever. In the last 72 hours, I want like two hours of sleep. But I guess it's a secret to winning regionals or top fouring or top twoing, whatever I finish. Doesn't matter. I, I'm the real champion. And I, the only thing I lost to is Skill Drain. One of those loser decks. But anyways, so this is the list I'm playing now because I do want to cut it to 40 as much as possible. You could, If anything, you could increase Souls to two. Or die bell starter too. You need to play the illusion of chaos. The reason why you're playing the illusion of chaos is whenever you want to side this pack, and this is a very easy side out. You side this out every single time going second, unless your opponent also plays black witch. The reason why I won black witch is this playing one is almost the same amount in two or three. Is if your opponent has black witch, you just dark it. So you you by having this card in your hand, you lose it for nothing. If that makes sense. Having this in your hand when your opponent has black witch in their graveyard you essentially lose a, a value of that card or it could be like a board breaker could be a calarium something like that so due to that reason that a lot of people are playing this decks at least the, the top decks are playing this you can just dark summon this and then not have to play too many and that's why you need to play an illusion of chaos for souls still to be there souls at two would be an option as well but i'm trying to make the deck as clean as possible two souls is probably an option souls is i'd say probably the best card in the deck number one and the last part of this engine that i added overperformed is kurikara it actually was fantastic the reasoning behind this is you have many ways to actually search this going second and you do not bring out Jet Synchron. Such as if you open multiples of these, you get when you get this onto the field, you could get it to the grave via Magician Souls. If you hard draw this, you get it to the graveyard via Diabell Star. You could bear and pop this if you need to if you get that deep. There's a few cool ways to pop it in your combo or get it to the graveyard. And then, or even if you start with Jet, you can get this to the grave like if it's in your hand. And then you literally search Kurikara. Or if you're playing a deck that you know uh, higher dice in this card, like purely, or there's a few decks that are loose to this entirely, uh, like Vanquish Soul gets obliterated to this as well. What you do is, when you get do the wanted play, you keep this, you keep these in your graveyard, and then the next turn, you use this to search Kurikara, then you use this to draw one and put this back. So it's another way to get free pluses. And it's just a board breaker. It's another board breaker. It's just a one a board breaker that's crazy going second. Going first is not the best, but it's a really good card. It has incredible good value. And then the field spells. The idea behind this deck, I did 10 test hands in the middle of the night. It was 3 a.m. We're on a, our flight is at 6 a.m. from Dallas to Vegas. And 3 a.m., 2 a.m., I'm doing a, a 50 test hands against Droll, post side deck. So a bunch of the spells I cut entirely to play around Droll better. So you're gonna witness two Calarium. Am I crazy? No, I'm a genius. Here's the idea behind this. You keep these, and the majority of the time, you always get, because you're not playing, because you're not playing uh, the Synchro 8 XL Synchro, uh, you're always going into Amartara. Because you're going always into Amartara, Amartara will always get the Calarium. So by playing multiple Calariums, I know there's, I'm, I cut Perlerino in this build to play better versus Droll. I don't even want to open Calarium. I'd rather search it later in the combo as a, as a bomb. 
Whenever I look at my graveyard and see Calarium, I get sad because I opened it. Same with Obsidian. This is essentially three of them. Another big, I, I took up Perlerino. I cut, cut right south low. You still get these anytime you want. All the monsters get to this, but it just plays around Droll better. And you still get free value with all the Magician Souls and the, the Diablo Star cards just because you get these all the time. You get two of these all the time. After you get its value, you get this for free and then go plus two. You search a Calarium all the time. It's too easy. It's too easy. And you still need the one right south because it's searchable with Terraforming and Thrust. So still important for this. And a big addition to this deck is Vanadium Imaginings. Because there's no Perlerino, the way I built this deck is, look at how many draw power there is. These are always drawing one card. Souls is always drawing two cards. That's a bunch of draw power. I always play the deck where right card search always draws a card. This will always draw two cards. You're drawing so many times. Talents almost always is just pot of greed for me. You're always drawing and drawing and drawing. And look at the power of the cards you're drawing. They're all absurd. Like every single card you're drawing is just and ridiculously powered. Come up to the front. Anyways, I'll probably beat him. I'll probably beat him. Uh, every card you're drawing is absurdly powerful. And next, like I'm gonna droplets. Econ, you draw into these mid combo going second through all these draw power. You're breaking any board. And then lastly, two arrival. But I'm adding now, keep in mind this deck, it's 44 cards. However, if you guys want to cut it to 42, this is the absolute lowest you could possibly cut it. It would be to remove these from the deck. But to be able to, it's understandable if you want to remove this by 43. It's understandable if you want to remove this. But so many times, Amritara needs to search something. This is a bomb card. It not only gets uh, searches like Phobia, but it also searches this. Right? Like this alone says Pot of Greed now. Because it searches this, Break Phobia searches Vices, you use Pot of Greed for free. It, it's insane. Like you're trying to kill your opponent, right? So you just need to keep summoning cards, put cards on board, getting free value, and destroying them via that. 44 cards, if you want to remove these to make it 42, you can do that. Please don't play hand traps, they're little dog shit. No, don't play hand traps, please. 20, 21 or 22, I lost count of all the wins. Matches won in Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments this format with zero hand traps, in a row, straight. And the one thing that ruined that record was losing to skill drain, crazy. Anyways, uh, extra deck. Beautiful, perfect. Don't touch it. It's amazing as it is. My eight sons and, and daughters, I love them all. Play them. Next. The only synchros you need. Please don't play Chenging. Please don't play uh, Chaos Angel. Don't play Dispatter. Don't play Crimson Dragon. They're little dog shit. With the power of the simple spoil stuff, you set up Savage Dragon before you even do anything. In defense, preferably to get some draws. Then you summon this. Then you draw. Then you plus five. Your typical end board is these two. Apo, SP. With whatever 12 defensive cards you just hop into open. It's always five interruptions plus. It's always game. And then two Astro Loud, and I added Typhon in, in this. Uh, I'm not playing Nemesis in this version, so I put Typhon in here. It's all right, but a lot of the times you're using Typhon for on your Baron, on your Savage Dragon, on your on your Access Code Talkers, whatever game. There's no serious value in it. Like like Typhon is for shit decks. It makes shit decks good. Shout out Rescue Ass. But it makes great decks. It just doesn't do anything. It seems like it does, but it just it doesn't. It's a really, really good for mid-range decks. Not for ours. We don't... I don't think you need it. Pretty sure a second SP is better. I don't think you need to play any other Synchro. Not really... Like, play, a second SP is probably better, to be honest. A second SP comes up a little more often. Uh, you don't really need a Typhon. It's a second SP or Typhon. Your choice. Side deck. Pay close attention. In my Manadia Masterclass, which will also be in the description below, I explain how to do all this. You got to check it out. It's very simple. How do you win post, if you're going first post side and you do not get drilled, the duel's over, you win the game automatically, no question about it. If you do get drilled, that's a little hard. So, rather than having a massive emphasis on going second, which the deck already has, has 12 board breakers, you still have 20 board breakers going second. Like, look at these cards going second now. You're playing, like, 12 in the main deck plus eight. In a 44 card deck, you're playing 20 board breakers. Now, to the 20 board breakers, these search your combo Terraforming, three Fenrir, right soft, that's five of them, that's nine. Nine of the 20 search your literal combo. So nine are your combo, 11 are board breakers. Nine, 11 for your opponent. It's a perfect number and it still leaves so much space in your side deck for going first. Like and they, these are all, you put this in against everything. I would change one thing. I would put thrust to three. I don't know why I played it at two. The deck is so good that 
I was like, fuck it, whatever. But play Thrust at three. It's so it's the best card in the deck without question. It gets anything you want, and the whole side deck's built around it with one ofs. You don't even need more of these. Three thrust is great. Talents is insane. I'll figure out later what to cut to play three thrust. But you need to play one of each of these. It might be Lightning Storm, probably not. Play all these. Talents also nuts. Anyways, now for going first. Look at this. What a madman, right? Playing five traps. Look at this now. You're going first against someone that drolls you. Please play. Well, I, I too old my opponent in 10 minutes, so I don't know why they're still playing. But anyways, so you're going first now against Droll, and you're playing against a heavy combo, heavy hand trap deck. These, one of these, outright FDK every single deck in this meta. Every one of them. That's why I think you should play three thrusts, because if they Droll you, if they shift you, if they bail you, if they ash you, they nib you, who gives a shit? Thank you. Hand trap me, please. I beg them to hand trap me. You, you whoop them. You destroy them. And the cards you remove for this are only search spells. You remove all the search spells, and you remove some stuff you don't necessarily need, and you, I remove Econ as well for a bunch of these. Also, Daruma is always crazy going first. And Twin Saw is nice because when you start with right card to search it to play around Droll, you typically end on like four interruptions, like literally, with uh, having this is your first thing. And it's fine, it's nice to have, it's a really good interruption. And don't play reframing. Reframing, guys, reframing is so redundant. Because look at all these cards you're playing, and if you just draw one of these eight, or one of these seven, because typically you just put in like two of these traps are searchable with thrust, and one twin saw, so it's eight cards. You remove all the search spells, except the ones you absolutely ne are necessarily required to have. You don't give a shit about Droll, you don't give a shit about anything. You still have 20 starters, so you don't brick. And anything your opponent does is cooked. When you play a control version post side deck, so when your opponent hand traps you to fuck, you just destroy them through their way to destroy that deck. And it works. I 2 0 most of my opponents today with this mentality. And it's an incredible deck. I'm not surprised I won 21 straight with this this format. And it's yes! just... Nice. I think someone just uh, got their invite or something. Oh, first top? First top. Nice. I'm very happy for him. Very, very nice. Uh, and yeah, and uh, that's the deck. You guys have to play play card for card. There's two more slots left. There's Dweller and Cowboy. Uh, Dweller is really nice because when you get hand trapped to fuck, the three decks that this obliterates is Unchained Tealament and Fire Kings. This hands down will win on its own. So just to have it in there and uh, be, make sure it's always the PL end all. And yeah, so it's 15 slots to the side and the deck's absolutely insane. Like I don't know how to explain it, it just doesn't lose. If you lose the roll, it doesn't matter. You win anyways. You win the roll, you win anyways. The only times you lose is when you get super poly and drolled multiple times. But that's how we played it, we're fine. Right, and even the way it is now is there's typically five interruptions. So if you get hit with super poly, they have four cards left, we have three interruptions left, the battle phase have two cards left, left to five. It sounds bad, but typically it's enough. Versus the old board just dies, hands down to it. It's also another reason why reframing is not that good. If reframing will never resolve through Droll, and if they super poly you, reframing is not going to do jack shit anyways. Because you'll have a synchro on board. So reframing is completely and utterly redundant. Where if you have it on board, you already win the game. But it's going to be dead too many times. Versus the other traps that you have, it uh, doesn't matter if you get Droll. They are now live, regardless. Or if you get uh, super poly, and they're uh, game changing. That's the idea behind it, guys. Check out this mat. It's going to be one day only. Maybe it'll be 48 hours only. So check it out right now. Check out the Manadium Masterclass as well. Shout out Team Aspire TCG. Shout out myself for being a genius. Shout out Dueling Guard. That's about it. Thank you, guys. Peace.